Today, we are looking at Philip John Smith, a Birmingham-based serial killer who took the lives of three innocent women. Jodie Hyde, a recovering butane addict, Rosemary Cochran, a mother of three, and Carol Jordan, a mother of six. These murders took place between the 9th of November 2000 and the 12th of November 2000, Remembrance Sunday. Philip John Smith was born in Willen Hall, West Midlands on the 10th of July 1965 to Henry John Smith and his wife Rose Smith and he was the eldest of the five siblings. For the first five years of his life, Philip grew up on Midland Road where they neighboured serial killers Fred and Rosemary West before moving to Hales Road on the Coney Hill Estate in 1971. The family had a modest income, however Philip's father was involved in a motoring accident later that year and the financial situation got worse. Smith attended Coney Hill Infants and Junior School, but later went to a special school for children with learning difficulties. He left school at 14 to join Billy Danton's Funfair, which toured extensively throughout the whole of the United Kingdom and also employed his father. To earn money when the fun fair was out of season, he worked as a farmhand, labourer and security guard. At the age of 18, Smith moved out of the family home in Gloucestershire to Tweaksbury and then moved on to ross on wye where he lived with a female partner. During this time, Smith fathered three children, a son in 1990 and then two more children in 1992. But Smith left the family and moved to Cardiff when the relationship became difficult. He then spent a year in Ireland lodging with the travelling family who took pity on him. While he was hitchhiking in Athlon, County Westmeath, he told the family he was an English gypsy visiting Ireland and they allowed him to live rent-free in a spare caravan while he contributed a portion of his benefits towards food. This family asked Smith to leave when they became uncomfortable about sexual remarks he had made towards young family members in late 1998. Philip John Smith then moved to Birmingham towards the end of 1999 and stayed briefly at the Trinity Centre, a hostel for the homeless in Digbeth, before moving to a property managed by a housing association in Braithwaite Road in the Sparkbrook district of Birmingham. He became well known locally and was a regular patron of the Shamrock Cafe on Stratford Road and of the Rainbow Pub in Digbeth, where he was employed on a casual basis as an odd jobber and served as an unofficial taxi driver for drinkers. Little did people know that it would be these two jobs, the bar work at the Rainbow and the unofficial taxi driving, that would be his route into his victims' lives. His first victim was 21-year-old Jodie Hyde who he picked up in his taxi just outside of the Rainbow on the 17th of November 2000. She was a recovering butane addict and he would kill her by strangulation. The body was dumped in a recreation ground just outside of Sparkbrook where it was found wrapped in a blanket bound with rope and the body had been set on fire. Smith's second victim came two days later on the 19th. This was Rosemary Cochran. She was a 25-year-old mother of three, who he bludgeoned to death and drove over her body. A body which he dumped in Droitwich, Worcestershire. His third victim came the same night in the form of Carol Jordan, who was walking to work at a care home just outside of the Acres Trust in Lee Bank area. She was a mother of six who Philip John Smith had hit with a car on his way back from the Rosemary Corcoran murder. Fearing capture, he beat her to death and dumped the body. At 4pm, he called the Castlevale police about the Corcoran murder and they found the blood of her on his car, flat and clothes. On the 3rd of July 2001, his trial began at Leicester Crown Court. Operation Green, it was named, was led by Sir Edward Crew, who was a chief constable of police. There was no motive given, however they believe it was due to lack of permanent sexual relations with women. After three weeks of trial, Philip John Smith pled guilty to Justice Judge Rafferty on three counts of murder and he is currently housed as a Category A prisoner at Woodhill Prison in Buckinghamshire. In January 2003, a potential fourth victim was found in the form of Patricia Lynott who was found dead in her flat in Bordersley Green. She was known to have worked with Philip at the Rainbow, but he was not charged as they failed the post-mortem. As of today, Philip John Smith is still serving his life sentences in the Woodhill Prison in Buckinghamshire.